The one and only Xalophone here to share with you guys my insane Gem Knight deck I've made using Link Format and all the latest support. I made this deck for Yu-Gi-Oh! Fight Club Season 3 where I'm forced to use Gem Knights and at first, I wasn't so sure if Gem Knights were going to be the type of deck to win in a competitive series but now, I'm feeling a little bit more confident. So I'm going to show you guys this deck and we'll talk a little bit more about Fight Club at the end of the video because the first rule about Fight Club is always talk about Fight Club. It's a competitive series that, if you don't know what it is, then check it out on my channel. We got two seasons up already, and the next season's about to begin. But, Gem Knights. We're gonna talk about Gem Knights, and how crazy they can be. Let me just spell it out for you. This deck can kill your opponent in one turn. Not just one turn, the first turn. Before they even get to play a card. It's that insane. First turn kill. How is this possible? Well, it's all because of a card called Lady Lapis Lazuli. And essentially, this card gets to burn your opponent for every special summon monster on the field. This deck special summons a lot of monsters. And we have Gem Knight Master Diamond as well, which copies Lapis Lazuli's effect and burns for more. So we burn our opponent a lot. So essentially what the deck has, we have three Gem Knight Garnets and Gem Knight Lapis because a lot of these cards use the normal monster effects. We have Grinder Golems because Grinder Golems are insane and we can summon like all of our Link monsters which let us do more things. We have Block Dragon which is extremely easy to special summon and it really correlates really well with a lot of these cards. Uh, we have Gem Armadillo which can be used to bring out our Gem Knight Phantom Core and get some stuff to our hand. Rescue Rabbit, of course, bringing out two monsters to also get out Phantom Core. We have Obsidian, which is insane when you send it from hand to the graveyard, meaning fusion. You special summon a monster from the graveyard. And then we have three Lazulis, which essentially do the same thing, but it's when they go from the deck to the graveyard, you bring a card from graveyard to hand. Lots of recycling going on in this deck. Uh, we're just running three hand traps standard, but of course the side deck is packing a whole bunch of other ones. We got a Crystal Rose. Now this card's a little out of place, but you can still turn it into a Gem Knight monster when it's on the field. For example, sending a Gem Knight Lazuli to the grave, meaning you can send one of these normal monsters from the grave to your hand. And also, you can special summon it from the grave, being another special summon monster, if you need to fill out that field. You want to have a full field before you activate Gem Knight Lapis Lazuli's effect. So, it's not that hard actually. We also have Unexpected Die, this will help you get out a second monster so you can go into the Gem Knight Phantom Core. Gem Knight Fusion, really the main card of this deck, what makes it all possible to fusion summon 12 times in a turn. As I mentioned, Upstart Goblin, just to make it a 39 card deck. Foolish Burial, this is mostly used for sending a Block Dragon to the graveyard, because the Block Dragon's effect um, is when you can, well, you get rid of three monsters from the graveyard to special summon it, nice and easy. Uh, Brilliant Fusion is another insane way to get ourselves, one, a Black Dragon to the grave, and two, our Gem Knight Phantom Core out. So it serves multiple purposes. If you get a Brilliant Fusion in your hand, or a Grinder Golem, you essentially win. So, six out of forty cards are an instant win condition, unless your opponent stops you. Uh, then I have Evenly Matched in here, because you don't have to attack with this deck. So, skipping a battle phase is no problem whatsoever. I have another evenly matched in the side deck, just in case you're going second. It is fine to run, let your opponent do whatever you want, skip your own battle phase, and then wipe their field out except for one monster. Or better yet, leave their special summon monsters on the field and burn for more. And then I have a solemn warning, so you can stop a lot of things as well. You don't necessarily need these traps, uh, you could switch them out for hand traps if you prefer. Really, it depends on like if you know you're going first, second. But this is kind of the standard setup I run of the deck. Um, over in the extra deck, we have Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond. One of the best Gem Knight cards, and I'm only running one of them, because my extra deck is extremely tight. I, many times, burn through... 14 of my extra deck cards. Um, we usually don't burn through all of them, but 14 is pretty common to see because Grinder Golem combo takes up like all of them because you go from Link Karibo to Link Spider into Akashic. Akashic brings out Security Dragon, then we bring out the Firewall Dragon, then from that we bring out this Curios, Dominion of the Light Swarm, which essentially gives us more cards to the graveyard, which we can use later, and more draw power, so this is really nice. And if we don't want to bring out that, we can bring out the Summon Sorceress, which lets us special summon more monsters. 
so you can see where all the link stuff comes in handy. Of course, we're running two Gem Knight Phantom Cores. For the combo, you don't technically need two of them, but I've found that it's a lot safer to run two of them in case your opponent stops one of them, because this is a very important card. One, it gets you the Gem Knight Fusion, and two, it, Gem Knight Phantom Core also has an effect that you can pay a thousand life points and then use three banished monsters. Hint, hint, the monsters you banished with the Black Dragon, send them back to the deck, and then bring out a Lady Brilliant Diamond, which then you can get rid of, send more cards to the grave to use them again, and bring out a Gem Master Diamond. And then the Master Diamond copies the effect of Lady Lapis Lazuli. You can see how this all ties together, and I'm going to show you guys some example duels so you can actually see the effects in common. And Zirconia, Seems a little out of place, but essentially he can use one rock monster. So we have him there just so he can utilize the crystal rose and the black dragon to full effect. Especially the black dragon. Because, you know, when he goes to the graveyard, more cards. Anyway, I'm going to show off this deck and then I'll come back and explain this stuff a little more in depth. So for these examples, I'm actually just going to be showing you guys replays. Because... One, I can explain this stuff better by pausing it and all that. And two, people leave half of the time they see this deck going, so... Here's a duel that the person actually stayed through the whole time. So, they get their deck. Ooh, they're running Elemental Heroes. I didn't know that when the game happened, because as you can see here, I got first turn. So we Unexpected died just to get a free monster onto the field, because why not? Then we are starting the Grinder Golem combo. So, two Grinder tokens on our side of the field, Grinder Golem onto their side of the field, and then we bring out some cards, essentially get the Akashic Magician out here, Grinder Golem comes back, and then, once again, Grinder Golem comes back. So you go in this order, you get the Akashic Magician, then Security Dragon, then Firewall Dragon, and now we're going to do the searching with the Akashic Magician. So if you look over at the graveyard, we're about to throw a bunch of cards in there with Akashic Magician. Let's see, any Brilliant Fusion? Oh my god, I actually got a Brilliant Fusion. You don't necessarily need to get one for this combo to work. I was just trying to get cards into the graveyard, but hey, it's a bonus. That's why I picked Brilliant Fusion, because it's useless in the graveyard, and it's good to have in hand. So, continuing this on, we bring out some more cards, and then we turn these into Kyrios which also has a nice little benefit. One, it lets us activate Firewall Dragon and Special Summon another monster. Two, we sent our Black Dragon to the graveyard, so now that can be in play. Then we brought out our Gem Knight Phantom Core to get a Gem Knight Fusion to our hand. And we have three Link monsters on the field with essentially just using our Grinder Golem. Now we're going to leave the Grinder Golem on their side of the field because one, it's not going to get to their turn, and two, it's another Special Summon monster. Why not? So let's see what we do here. We banish three monsters to bring out the Black Dragon. We activate Gem Knight Phantom Core to send those monsters right back and bring out Lady Brilliant Diamond. And then we fuse into a Gem Knight Zirconia so we can use Black Dragon's effect and get even more cards. Gem Knight Fusion comes back. We use Lady Brilliant Diamond's effect to get out a Master Diamond. Then we have another card coming out. That card comes out. So Crystal Rose, we just banished the uh, Zirconia to special summon it from the graveyard. And then we essentially sent the uh, Lapis to the graveyard so we could have this be a Lapis. Now we Gem Knight Fusion and we're going to make the uh, main card here. Now we have a Gem Knight Lady Lapis Lazuli. And using Firewall Dragons I get to summon a sixth monster. Now comes for the burn. So we burn for 3,500 because obviously six cards plus the Grinder Golem on their side. Then. We use the Gem Knight Master Diamond to burn the Lady Lapis Lazuli. Oh yeah, you want to send a Lady Lapis Lazuli to the grave using these effects, uh, depending. Or, depending on how it works, you could send a uh, regular Lazuli to uh, get a Lapis back to your hand. Then you could s sacrifice this for a Gem Knight Master Diamond. Then use Master Diamond's effect to send the other one of these to the grave. Point is, you're going to want to use one of these and then have them both in the grave. So you can copy two effects with Gem Knight Master Diamond. Continuing on, we're about to burn again with Gem Knight Master Diamond. Hey, there's another one, and that lets us special summon another monster. Actually, I think I goofed here, and I activated both the effects at once, so I brought it to my hand instead. But luckily, I believe we have a Black Dragon in the graveyard. Oh, nope, never mind, we hit two separate monsters. But, you could still Black Dragon from the graveyard if we needed to, to bring out a sixth monster. So, there comes the burn, by sending this away using its effect. And, yeah, it hurts. Um, so that was what happens when we get a Grinder Golem in our hand. Um, but even when we don't get one, it's insane. There's so many different cards that can combo up in this deck. I'll try to go a little slower in the next duel. Okay, so actually this time I'm going to duel myself. Because opponents keep leaving 
because they're really upset. I'm sorry. It's just mean. So, you can see the other side of the deck. Ooh, Grinder Golem and Brilliant Fusion. This is an insane hand over here. But this is one that's also pretty insane. Obviously, no Grinder Golem to see here. But let's see what we're about to do. Unexpected Die. That'll let you get a monster out from the deck. Then we Rescue Rabbit. Rescue Rabbit turns into two normal monsters. So already we have three special summon monsters on the field. So some of those are going to come in handy. So let's add to it, do a Brilliant Fusion. Now the reason I'm going into this rather than just summoning the uh, Gem Knight Phantom Core with uh, two of these is so I can get the Black Dragon in the graveyard. Black Dragon's always fun to have him play because that can get you more cards. Continuing on. We fuse those two into the Gem Knight Phantom Core. That'll let us get the fusion card to our hand. And then that Black Dragon comes out. Being very careful to send three Gem Knights to the graveyard. Because when there's three Gem Knights in the graveyard, we can activate the play of Gem Knight Phantom Core and bring out a monster of our own. Just getting those back to the deck so they can be used once again. Now Brilliant Diamond is going to activate, bringing out a Master Diamond. And Gem Knight Fusion comes into play again. Let's see what we want to fuse. I'm sure that that Black Dragon's about to be fused. Or not. Maybe I'm dumb. Oh well. But the Black Dragon's probably going to be fused soon. I really don't need to fuse anything else. That's probably what I was thinking here. Because Obsidian is about to use his effect and give me another monster. So we burn for 3,000. Wow, we don't even need to use Black Dragon's effect here. I think we already have the win. So... What we do to uh, bring Gem Knight Fusion back, I haven't explained this, but you just banish a card from your graveyard, a Gem Knight from your graveyard, and it comes right back to your hand to be used again and again and again. So we do that, we're going to fuse those into another Gem Knight Master Diamond, and that only leaves us with five Special Summon Monsters, but if we can use the effect twice, that'll break 5,000. So, still enough. And ta-da! Whoever got first in this duel was going to win. I'm going to do one more of these just because they've been going a little quick and so I can explain it to you guys. Alright, so here I seem to have a Grinder Golem again and an Unexpected Die, and I already start with two Gem Knight Fusions and Foolish Burial. There's really not a lot of bad hands you can get with this deck, at least I haven't found them yet. I guess if you draw all just monsters and no, you know, Unexpected Dies, no Grinder Golems, no Block Dragons, no Fusion Cards, no uh, Foolish Burials, no... No rescue rabbits, no... Okay, if you get... There's potential bad hands, but there's so many pieces I can combo this all together. So, we get a monster onto the field with unexpected die, just a freebie in this case. Then the grinder golem combo continues again. Now, obviously, if this dark magician player got to go second, things would be very good for them, because they could just start banishing me with their dark magic circle, and they have everything they need. Well, most of the things they need. But we're gonna go over here, get our firewall dragon onto the field, then we'll be able to get him back to our hand, use Akashic Magician... Send some cards. Ooh, br double Brilliant Fusion. You know. Didn't need them once again. But there we go. I'll take them. I almost would have preferred to get more Gem Knights into my graveyard. But it's fine. Light Sworn will help me get more into the graveyard. And another Black Dragon's in play. Haven't even had to use Foolish Burial. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm letting it run. I shouldn't be doing that. It's fast. But we s essentially, with that same combo we used in the first duel, sent all these cards to the graveyard. Um... And we have not even had to bring out our Gem Knight um, Phantom Core yet. I don't think we have to since we started with two Gem Knight Fusions. So we'll, we'll see how this plays out. So we brought out Zirconia. Um, and let's see what happens next. Oh look, Zirconia fused with Block Dragon. So we could bring even more cards to our hand. So we're going to bring that out. Now we finally get Phantom Core out here. But since we already have one Gem Knight Fusion in hand and one in the graveyard, what are we going to grab back? Well, Firewall Dragon's going to let us freely summon the Crystal Rose, because why not? And instead of grabbing another f uh, Gem Knight Fusion, we'll grab a Gem Knight Obsidian, because Gem Knight Obsidian's good to have in your hand, because as we know, he can help you special summon stuff when you fusion with him. Another Black Dragon comes out, banishing three monsters from the graveyard. There we go. And now we bring out a Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond using Phantom Core's effect, putting some of those monsters right back into the deck. Brilliant Diamond switches out the Phantom Core, actually, because we already expended his effects. We don't really need him anymore, and he wasn't really holding open any slots for us. 
and brings out the Master Diamond. Now all we need is to get the Lapis Lazuli into play, and I have a Gem Knight Lapis and a Gem Knight Fusion in my hand. However, with these two slots, one of them's gonna have to go up. Uh, well, that works too, because we just essentially, oh, we went with another Black Dragon thing? Well, I was silly in this duel. That's the thing, even when I misplay a couple things, as long as I get the initial setup fine, we're okay. So, as you can see, we got a bunch of things on the field. We have a Firewall Dragon over here and a Karyos over here, so we can open up this slot, this slot, and this slot to fusions. Very nice stuff. And sooner or later, we're going to need to get that Lapis out here. And there she is. But we need another monster. Fortunately, Firewall Dragon helps us special summon. So there we go. Let's burn for 3.5k. Let's do it again. And, ooh, I think I really messed up here because we got this one on the field. Uh, no, I can just fuse into a... Yeah, I'm about to fuse into another Gem Knight Master Diamond. And, yep, there we go. Now we just burn this one that we just sent to the graveyard, and... Ta-da! Now, these are all examples of first turn, but second turn? Unless your opponent has something on the field that'll stop you, it only makes you go quicker. So, it's pretty handy. So you can see why I was, at first, a little skeptical about this deck, but now very happy... Um, slash very sad that I have to do this to people, but that's a great way to run this deck. And, you know, it still has just raw attack power if you need it. I'm summoning multiple, like, 3,000 attack monsters to, uh, make these combos happen. So even if it doesn't all work out, I still got some field power. So, it kind of works out just fine. Not to mention, if I just pop a black dragon onto the field, I didn't even mention the effect that my rock monsters, just about everything in this deck, cannot be targeted by effects, so that defends everything even more. There's a lot of craziness in here, so, you know, point being, I think I went through all the plans in the, uh, all the combos you can do in that setup, well, there's still many more combos, but if you guys want to try out the deck, feel free to grab all this, I'll scroll through it all right now so you can pause the video and see what you need, and try it out yourself. I mean, just be ready for people to rage quit, people to be mad at you, people to cry, it's not a fun time. Not a fun time at all. But fortunately, this is the deck I'm using for Yu-Gi-Oh! Fight Club. So, I am the two-time champion of Yu-Gi-Oh! Fight Club, and we're going into Season 3. So, people are going to be trying to take me down. It's not going to be fun. But I think with this deck, I might just be able to keep my, keep my title. I'm a little more confident going into this season than the other two seasons. But, I also see that I'm playing this very differently. This is a very offensive deck. Before, I've played with defensive decks and slow-paced decks. So, this might be a disadvantage, but it's also going to be the scariest deck in the competition, I think. In the side deck here, we have two Ash Blossoms and two uh, Ghost Ogres, just so we can fill out the hand traps whenever we need them. If you go in second, of course, fill up on those hand traps. I have a Regeki in here, but I've never actually switched the Regeki into the deck. It's just Regeki's such a good card, I feel bad taking it out of the side deck. I don't know. You could switch it out for, like, anything, really, but... Yeah, it's Regeki. I have two Twin Twisters, in case we need that spell destruction. Two Dimensional Barriers. Once again, if you're going second and you know what type of deck your opponent's using, this can come in handy. We have a Solemn Strike, much like the Solemn Warning. We have another Struggling Battle, evenly matched. It's differently named in this program, but, you know. Uh, Skill Drain. Now, Skill Drain isn't the best, because obviously you have a couple skills you want to activate on the field, like your Rescue Rabbit, your Jam Armadillo, and then your Fusion Monsters, because you can't do the burn when you have a... Yeah, you, you can't do the burn. I want to know what you guys think about this deck. Is it hilarious and going to win the competition, or are you just heavily against FTK? I don't mind either way, so let me know in the comments. But anyway, wish me luck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Fight Club. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy the deck, and I will see you next time. Thank you.